Hey guys, what's up? So I want to go over what's important during preseason because I get asked a lot by all my athletes, um, why aren't we doing this or why are we doing this? Um, why aren't we jumping? Why aren't we doing technique more? And all these different questions. So what do I think is most important in the preseason um, is what we're going to go over today. So for those that don't know me, my name's Fallon Haddings. I'm a physical therapist and a track and field performance coach. Um, so let's get started. So what's important during your preseason training program? So we are at the very end of our first block of our preseason training right now. And I, get, I think I get asked this question daily. When are we gonna start high jumping? When are we gonna start triple jumping? Like, when are we gonna start doing all these jumpings? So before you go into the specific technique of all your events, you really have to make sure that you have the mobility to perform your events. So that's the first thing that is so important during your preseason training, is making sure that you have the correct mobility for your event. Now, you have to make sure you have the proper mobility because then you can avoid compensations by using other body parts and that also will help you avoid injuries throughout the season. So that's why I think mobility is so important. And this is what's something that has to be individualized for each of you because you really have to make sure if you're limited in hip mobility but you wanna be a hurdler, you gotta work on that or else you're gonna be trying to use your back, you're gonna be trying to use every little ounce of your body besides your hips because you can't go into that um, area of your hips to use to get over the hurdle. So that's why mobility is so important. The second thing that I wanna go over that I think is extremely important during your preseason training is going over form. And that starts with running form. So with our sprinters, with our jumpers, with um, our hurdlers, all of our running athletes, even with our distance runners too, we have to go over form. Running form I think is missed a lot in our programming because we grow up running all the time, but nobody goes into detail and nobody really thinks about the specific biomechanics of how well we should run. So if we have a fast kid, Maybe their biomechanics are right, but maybe if we improve their technique of running and their running form, they might get even faster. So that's why a lot of times in preseason, I'm always try trying to dive in to running form. I'm really trying to um, make sure that their running technique and just the basic techniques of all of their, um, all of the basics of the basis kind of that bottom of your pyramid that is in all your programming, you wanna really make sure your form is fantastic in that or else you're just going to build bad form on top of that. And I always like to give the example, if you draw a line in the sand and that's your running, running form and you continually repeat that bad running form over and over and over again, that line in the sand is just getting deeper and deeper and deeper and the harder it is to get back out to good running form. You're gonna get stuck in this divot where you're always doing bad running form and you're never gonna get out into your good running form. So those are my two really big important things for preseason. So make sure you're really working on your mobility. Figure out if you need ankle mobility, if you need hip mobility, if you need thoracic mobility. Where do you need your mobility for your event specifically and your body specifically is limited in? And then really working on that through your recovery days, through your warm ups, through your cool downs, wherever you can fit that mobility stuff in, that's where you need to add that in. And then your form, really working on being correct with everything. I understand intensity is an extremely important aspect of your training program, but if you're intense with bad form, you're just gonna continue with that bad form. Where if you backtrack, decrease the intensity a little bit, work on your form and really make sure that's picture perfect form, you're really going to succeed in your season. So um, thanks for watching this video. If, you, if this helped you guys, please share, like, comment um, if you have any questions and um, keep training hard guys. See ya.